Stat Medical Resources is working with Healgen to provide the latest COVID-19 rapid antibody test to the public. Please watch the following video on how to administer these tests. Read the package insert carefully before use. The kit is composed of the test cassette, buffer, and dropper. Allow the test materials and specimen to reach room temperature before testing. Remove the test cassette from the sealed foil pouch. Do not open the pouch unless you are ready to begin the test. Place the test cassette on a dry, flat surface. When using a disposable dropper for serum or plasma specimen, draw specimen until it reaches the specimen line. Hold the dropper vertically and transfer one drop of drawn specimen into the sample well, labeled as S on the test cassette. Then add two drops of buffer to the buffer well, labeled as B immediately after. For whole blood specimen, draw the specimen into the dropper. Hold the dropper vertically and transfer one drop of whole blood to the sample well. Then add two drops of buffer to the buffer well immediately after. Start the timer. If after two minutes the sample has not moved across the test window or if blood is still present in the sample well, add one additional drop of buffer to the buffer well. Read the test result in 10 minutes. Do not interpret the results after 15 minutes. IgG positive. Two red lines appear on both C and G regions. IgM positive. Two red lines appear on both C and M regions. IgG and IgM positive. All three red lines appear on C, G, and M regions. Negative. Only one red line appears in the control region. Invalid. The control line remains completely or partially blue. The control line must completely change from blue to red. Review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test cassette if an invalid result appears. Warning. This product is intended for professional use only. Strictly follow the directions for use within the package insert. In general, antibodies can be detected one to three weeks after infection. Results should be used in conjunction with other data such as symptoms, results from other tests, and clinical observations.